Hello everyone, welcome to Piano Val, this is Emma Lillman. In this series of videos I'm gonna show how imagination and singing affect piano playing and how to create your own interpretation of music that cannot be done so well by following traditional way of practicing. traditional way of teaching, students would be always corrected about making crescendo and diminuendo. Either crescendo is too soon, either or crescendo is not enough, or diminuendo is not enough. So there are so many possibilities <laughs> of playing crescendo and diminuendo wrongly. So what teachers don't really understand that uh, the ability to play crescendo and the first comes from the skills of playing piano quiet enough and forteful enough and then distribute energy between those extreme points. So therefore if there is no much difference of touches between piano and forte in the first place, then there is no much space for making crescendo and diminuendo. So that's why before you continue watching this video, please click here and watch my videos about how to make piano, pianissimo and fortissimo with a very good quality of tone. Accurate crescendo and diminuendo can be achieved and controlled through imagination and weight technique that we can feel while singing. So let's talk about imagination first again. What I mean is that you can imagine sound in timbres of cellos or violins or vocal voice in ocean of these timbres and you can uh, imagine them in different volumes. So you can imagine the same sound actually um, in many, 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 many different volumes and trust me, you can go much more beyond just pianissimo, piano, mezzo piano, mezzo forte, forte fortissimo, that will be more, 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 more possibilities for you to increase the loudness or to decrease it. Now, why would consider something changes our imagination that would also affect our playing? Is because the energy of imagined sound flows directly to the uh, fingertips, to our finger muscles, to to the energy in our body. So in the moment when we pre 
hear the note, we can also pre-feel this note. And that energy would bring um, exactly the touch uh, that we need to express our ideas. Let's take a look again in the same scale, playing without imagination and with imagination. So if, just imagine, I would, ask, I would be asked by a teacher to make a better crescendo and better diminuendo with no clue what I'm going to do in my mind about sound, that would be, look this way. sensations of playing with no imagination. <laughs> some intention in my mind that I want to play louder and I still feel some stiffness over here and sometimes I suppress key too much. Now let's imagine the same fragment in the ocean of violins where the first note is going to be very very soft, as transparent as possible and then with every single note I'm going to add a little bit more loudness, a little bit more sound gradually and then I'm going down and decreasing the, the volume so it looks this way sensations in my fingertips and in the finger of muscles in my palm. I can control it but I pre-feel it like every time I'm thinking about next note I already feel this energy and my finger would exert it better. But still I have some limits when I want to play uh, louder or softer um, and some tension in my head over here because I'm playing without weight. So now let's talk about weight technique. While playing passages, we control our tone not only by finger muscles, but mostly by weight technique, by the free energy that we feel within our body and arms. Uh, <laughs> now, this weight technique is explained in this video. Please click it and watch it um, to be able to feel it correctly and um, sustain it while singing and while playing. So one more time I'm just singing one interval with no weight and with weight and I feel this free energy within my even sound. Now I would consider that if something changes our singing that would also change our playing. It's because while singing we feel this energy of breath between notes and this is exactly what affects our energy in our muscles, uh, in our body. And uh, that's why if we intonate interval with this kind of energy, that would always help us to sustain the same free energy within our body. So let's see the difference between playing the same passages without weight and with weight. Just our imagination now, let's get our weight. Alright, so with using weight it's much easier to play forte louder and piano softer. That's it. Now, I was actually asked a long time ago by one of my viewers to show how I can play one hand crescendo and one hand diminuendo. Okay, give me some time to imagine this, I will show how it works. <laughs> okay, first I'm going to imagine left hand 
starting forte and finishing piano. I'm gonna imagine the huge sound of cellos. And back. Okay, I'm playing with weed. <laughs> I think it contains so many changes over here, just like in the whole concerto <laughs> during three three pages. So you have to imagine everything very clear. And if it's soft, then try your best to imagine as soft as possible. Is it uh, crescendo? Then every single note has to be a little bit uh, louder, and you have to have this clear idea, you know, in the whole this fragment starting from piano to forte during two uh, lines this crescendo is going on. So you have to know exactly on which bar you imagine on which dynamics, which bar is going to be mezzo piano, which bar is going to be mezzo forte, and then again crescendo, and there is also between mezzo forte and forte, there is also so many like a huge, huge range of dynamics that you have to make. Uh, so make sure you make all of these guys. Even over here, when you come um, forte, and the very next note is already gonna be in the piano. So make sure you do this. <laughs> texture if we're talking about the melody or bringing up some voice in the chords or intervals thank you so much for watching bye bye